Hey guys, Pavi Dinamani here with Digital Trends. I am here with Justin Barad, who is the co-founder and CEO of Oso VR, which is basically changing the game for surgeons here, using gaming technology and making it easier for people in the medical industry. Tell us more about this device. Yeah, so that's exactly right. Um, I'm actually an orthopedic surgeon, but uh, I'm a long time amateur game developer. Okay. And when I was in my own surgical training, uh, I'd be doing a surgery when people would ask me, Justin, can you scrub out and quickly Google what we're doing? Because uh, we don't exactly know what to do next. So I'd look up instruction manuals, reputable Wikipedia entries, YouTube videos. And as I'm doing this, I'm like, there's got to be a better way. Right. Um, and just because my gaming background, I was involved in virtual reality very early. And I realized, right. I'm like, wow, we can practice these procedures before we're in the operating room and, yeah. and patients on the table. And that's how Oso VR was born. So what right. this is, is using gaming technology to train and assess surgeons. Excellent. So are you trying to get uh, a surgeon like trained with this as a, you know, a prereq to like when you're going to school and this is part of it? Or what's your goal with this product? Yeah, so our goal is to improve outcomes for patients at the end of the day. Right. So through better education assessment. Part of that is partnering with residency programs like Columbia, right. uh, Vanderbilt, UCLA, um, and having those residents train with, uh, with our technology. But really, uh, one of our big goals is to get newer medical devices and medical technologies out to the public because one of the reasons why patients can't get access to these technologies uh, like robotic surgery like the da vinci for example right. or minimally invasive hip replacements is that they're too complicated to learn now surgeons don't have the tools to learn these new technologies which you have to do a hundred times before you can do it safely right. and you don't want them practicing on you and me so we partner with medical device companies to allow surgeons to practice with the latest and greatest technology like what you're seeing here yeah. um, so that they can bring it to patients safely and effectively. Yeah, that's a game changer, especially from, you know, we've moved away from like animal testing to like, you know, we don't know how that could go. And this is actually a good segue into that for in terms of the gaming. How did you come up with the how to make it as realistic as possible? Because you do have that background. But how is it as real as it is? Is it because of your background? Yeah, I think it's really understanding having trained surgeons myself, being a surgeon, understanding what the problem is, and then right. you can know how to effectively solve it. And what we found here is the intersection of fidelity and also accessibility and affordability. And one of the pillars of our mission is uh, democratizing access to surgical education. Okay. So if you think about it, there are areas of the world where it's very hard for them to get high quality surgical education. So, and we're having enough problems here as it is. Right. What we can do is for $400, you can take a standalone headset and get it to low and middle income countries and they can have access to the same quality surgical training we do here. Nice. Um, so that intersection there of accessibility and affordability is really the key to unlock global access to high nice. quality surgical education. That's awesome. And in terms of the types of surgeries, is there something you're focused more on or not focusing on? Yeah, so we're mainly focused on orthopedic surgery right now. Okay. So that's joint replacement, trauma surgery for broken bones, okay. uh, these sorts of things, because they're really good for what VR is at and they, they're 3D, very complex. As the technology develops, we're planning on moving more into the robotic space, okay. uh, into cardiology and other applications of surgery. Very cool. Is this already available in the market? Because I, I can't see why, you know, students are not using it already just to, to learn faster. Yeah, so and they're using it today. Um, actually, we were at just at a Department of Education event where we had children using our technology. Um, and basically everyone that runs through this is thinks I want to be a surgeon now. And they know that it's that's possible. It's not some some uh, yeah. goal that's out yeah. of their reach. So really getting into the hands of everybody is, is really important to us so that people can see that they have what it takes to do a crazy career like uh, being a surgeon. And it's a lot of fun. That's, yeah, that's a good starting point too. And what is um, what does it look like for 2019? Where are you planning to go with this? Yeah, 2019 is all about, we've launched our product, we're in the market, we've had a lot of early success. We've done research that shows that people that train with our technology perform surgery more than twice as well as non-VR trained individuals. So now that we know that it works and it's out there, it's all about getting more. And so this year is about scaling for us. So we really want to expand the number of procedures we have, the number of technologies and customers that we work with, um, and also our, our footprint in uh, hospitals and programs here in the US. Very cool. And how can people buy this product? So you can contact us at osovr.com. Right now it's uh, just through us, but eventually it should be available uh, through an Oculus store and things like that so you can uh, practice surgery at home. Cool. Well, thank you so much. This was 
very, very like great insight. And thank you for watching. For more information, do log on to digitaltrends.com/ces.